Binghamton in the City is a week full of events for our students um, to really meet with employers and alumni to figure out things like what career paths they want to go into and also to network. One of the big things we hear from whether it be recruiters, from alumni, from employers is the best way to get a job is to network. This is such an amazing opportunity for students to go into these employers and firsthand to be able to network with alumni and recruiters. This was definitely a great way for me to see uh, different organizations right in the heart of New York City and find out if it would be a good fit for me or not. Good to see that someone who the Bearcat ones like they're just being successful in what they do and a lot of them like like the, the gentleman I was talking to like he just seems so enthusiastic about what he was doing I, it just inspires me to just just, just keep working hard at Binghamton. New York City is very rich with financial services, um, hospitals, media, marketing, uh, non-profit so there's just so many opportunities for our students here. I'm at Madison Square Garden. I went to J Crew, and then today I went to ABC. In the Mets today. I went to AKF Group today. Horizon. Yesterday I went to Evercore and I visited Wolf Research. This morning I visited uh, Bloomberg. It's very important in order to understand, I feel, company culture because when you enter into a workspace, you don't know the culture that you'll be entering or whether or not the people that you work with you will like. So it's interesting to go and very vital to see would I fit in this culture? Do I like a big firm or do I like a small firm or medium firm? And how you fit within the space with those people? It's really something that you can't pick up from talking to someone at a job fair or you know looking at like their glass door reviews. Um, you can really walk into an office and see if you belong here or if maybe you belong somewhere else and that's not necessarily a bad thing but it's good to know that beforehand before you apply, before you go into an interview and spend time somewhere you might not be happy. This is all about connecting, all about networking. Try to get their personal contact information so whether it be sending them an email or even LinkedIn with them it's a connection that you might be able to use in the future. By the time you're a junior or a senior you know you're already looking for positions, you're looking for what's going, what's coming ahead once you graduate, and that's way too late to you know start building your network, to start meeting people in different companies, to start finding out you know what you like and what you don't like. So by doing it, you know in your freshman and sophomore year, you're already a step ahead of the game.